first things first, shout out to Jaime David Vasquez. He's an incredible bass player, and he's the person that suggested I create this video. So this video is about two types of players when it comes to going to the woodshed and practice. Now, player A tends to play the same old skills he already knows. He plays them up and down, he plays them all the time without a metronome. He just plays them over and over and over, plays the same chords he knows. Um, he focuses on playing the same songs over and over. He tends to jam a lot for hours. Um, and everything comes easier to him in terms of practice time. He's not applying much effort. Then we have type B. He's a well-structured, goal-oriented, efficient, and focused person. He tends to work on new material all the time, or he's working on polishing old material that he's already feeling comfortable with, or he's applying this material in a more practical manner. He's using it over backing tracks, he's using it over live situations, he's using it with friends, and he's always working on, on all types of material. It doesn't matter if it's lead, it doesn't matter if it's rhythm, it doesn't matter if it's improvising, it's all the same for him because it's all working towards the same goal. Now the biggest difference between both of these guys is that one of them is playing while the other one is actually practicing. He's putting time and effort into what he's doing. Now there's not anything wrong with being type player A or player B. Okay, you're, It's good to be both of these guys at one point or another. So you want to have fun being player, player A. You want to sit down and, and, and do some applied practicing, which I tend to think goes more into the player B category. But it's all about spending more time being player B than play, being player A. So for example, while I'm a teacher and I know a bunch of teachers and we tend to get a lot of students that say, man, I'm practicing three, four hours a day and I'm not seeing any results. So a lot of what happens here is that they tend to practice for 30 minutes and then let, let's say he's doing four hours a day. So he might be doing 30 minutes of actual practice, then three and a half hours of just playing and fooling around and having fun. Well, not that practice is not fun, but you should be doing something more structured. He should turn around and practice for three and a half hours and then set aside um, half an hour for playing and jamming and having fun. And, and not just really jamming and having fun, but he should be doing applied practice. He should be setting aside that time to apply those different skills that he should that he's been garnering. Now how to know if you're playing or practicing? Well playing tends to come easy for you. It's usually a bit less stressful. Um, you're not working on new material. You're playing what you know. You're playing what feels comfortable to you. So you're not getting out of your comfort zone. If you're not getting out of your comfort zone, you're probably just playing. The main difference between practicing and playing it's what you want to get out of it. So when you're practicing, you're looking to create new skills. You're looking to refine the skills that you already have. You're looking to maintain the skills that you already have. Or you're looking to apply those skills in a more practical manner. So when it comes to practice, you want to be structured. You want to know what you're going to do. You want to, you want to have goals also. You want to know what you're shooting for. So if you're going to sit down to practice, you should have something that you want to get out of that practice time before you start to actually practice. Let's say you, okay, so let's take me for example. I'm planning on recording an Eric Johnson video. So I'm practicing different Eric Johnson chops. I'm looking for different ways that he uses different scales. I'm looking for different things that he's doing. So first I'm applying, so first I'm gaining the different skills that it takes to sound like him. And then I'm working on putting them together then actually trying to get that Eric Johnson sound to come out as a whole. Next is you gotta push yourself. So you wanna be at least a little bit uncomfortable. You wanna feel at least a little bit of stress. You don't wanna be completely comfortable if you're practicing. It will get better little by little and it gets to be a, more fun each time. As soon as you start feeling like you're taking control of the material, the new material, it starts getting more fun. And what's more fun than knowing more and being able to play more stuff? sounding better and getting sounding more like a professional each, each time. Now there's a bunch of different types of, of ways of, to practice and one of them that could get very confused with just playing is applied practice or what at least what I like to call applied practice. 
So what I'm doing is I'm sitting down, I'm playing the different licks or or phrases or lines or or the or material. I'm playing the different material that I'm learning and I'm trying to apply it in a more functional manner, in a more practical manner, and the the type of way that might come when I'm playing out on the streets on while I'm live, while I'm recording these types of videos for you guys. So it's important to practice the things that you don't really like also. It's important to practice the, the what usually people don't like to practice, which is reading, it's ear training, um, at times it's transcribing, although although that's actually one of the funnest things because you get to explore what other people are doing over the same types of tunes that you're doing. You have to practice rhythm guitar, which Sometimes, at least, I know I do this a lot, I tend to practice more of the lead type of, of aspects of the instrument. And I tend to forget a little bit about the rhythmic parts. So it's important to know the difference between playing and practicing. This way you can better balance your practice routine or schedule to get more results, to get the results that you actually want. And again, if you're playing what you already know and you feel like you're stuck in a rut, you're probably just playing and not actually practicing any new material. So yeah, the main difference between playing and practicing is probably the outcome. What you want to get out of it. Again, practice, you want to gain new skills, you want to polish the skills that, you already, that you've already gained, um, you want to maintain the skills that you've already gained, and you want to learn to apply these skills. When you're playing, you want to just play what you've already gained and it's more of an exposition or exhibition than an actual learning routine so if you're not learning you're probably not practicing if you're practicing you're learning okay so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys learned something new you can follow me on Facebook for new updates you can follow me on Instagram for posts just about every other day you can follow me on Twitter where I put up the hashtag musician tip of the day just about every other single day also and you can follow me on my website, which is juanantoniomusic.com. All right, thanks for watching.